Hello everybody, I'm going live early. So hey Tita, Amber, April, everybody, hello. Tina, hello. I'm going a little bit early because, well, a couple of reasons. We've got 12, I think 12 step outs to do. Hey Bum Bum. And I've got a little bit of a headache that I've had all day. It's been one of those days. It's just been a long day. So, I don't know why I'm echoing. Am I echoing for everyone? I don't know. I got no clue. I didn't do anything. No echo here? Okay, I might be quiet tonight. I'm trying to make a stencil. Oh, okay. Cool beans. Alright, anyway. Um, I don't know why I'm echoing on April's, so. Weird. Okay, but we're going to mark off the stuff that we that I got done today and do the planning stuff and then we're going to run through the step outs real quick because yeah now I've had a bad headache all day and I'm doing my very 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 best to not take a painkiller I'm so tired of taking painkillers like it dries my mouth out it dries my entire body out hey kale and uh like it dries out the corner of my mouth and so right in the corner of my mouth uh it just splits just the slightest little bit and it just it's so irritating so i hate i hate 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 having to try and or having to deal with painkillers and i'm trying my best not to take one so i'm loaded up on excedrin and ibuprofen right now i have moved to a new building today Ooh, awesome my Discord was on as well. That's why it's echoing. Oh, does it come on live on Discord? I don't know. Chicken Man says he's sorry you have a headache. He's had one since last night, so he feels your pain. Aw, oh, feel better, Chicken Man. Hey, Mary. Okay, so. Updates. If you ordered a journal, it's not here anymore. It is. In the mail it's on its way to you and uh, should be arriving very very soon oh, okay um hey other Amanda <laughs> um so all of the journals have gone out if for some reason the lightness of the stock grid gets on your nerves is not what you want let me know um, you know, let me know in private you don't have to let me know in public or anything like that but let me know if the lightness of the stock grid bothers you because it's really bothering bothering me a little bit and I'll tell you why because it's not just the lightness of the dot grid I think I think that the paper is still a little bit thin um, like not much thin maybe it's 150 and not 160 I mean it's still relatively thick when we're talking about paper or whatever so it's still a relatively stocky paper but I can tell you it I just I don't think that it's a full 160 I think he might have cut a corner on it so it's sort of been yelling at China all day long and it sort of hasn't been going great as far as me yelling at China because I tried to use my business voice and I tried to be professional about it and um, I don't know who he thinks he's talking to apparently he thinks he's talking to his daughter because I got one message that said I am very disappointed in you and then I got one message that said you are not a real businesswoman I'm like okay so needless to say I have definitely definitely been yelling at China this evening or last night and a little bit today I tried to calm down before I emailed them back today 
and that was last night. It was last night, sometime around one one thirty this morning last night, but whatever. After that happened, I'm like, okay, well then that's fine. I'll just file a claim with the Alibaba website or whatever um, for my complaint and go through the proper channel instead of emailing him directly because he doesn't seem willing to fix the issue at all, which is something he sort of admits to in one of the emails. Um, and in his response to the claim says that there's an 8% margin for error or something like that in 160 gram paper and so 150 gram paper can technically be called 160 gram paper and I'm like uh-uh no bitch don't play that <laughs> so anyway yelling 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 at China and then I get up this morning cuz I just I said well you know what we'll just let the proper channels take care of it um, and I'll voice my complaints there and um, we'll just see what happens and once I filed that complaint after I got the you're not the, a real business woman uh, email because of the fact that I did file the complaint I woke up this morning to another email that says this is a small order I'm willing to try and fix this if we wait for those to go through proper channels it could take half a half a month and that's just too much time for this so let me know how we can resolve this and so I'm like well that's that's funny because last night you were disappointed in me and <laughs> I wasn't a real businesswoman so it took me until this afternoon to say um you know, let's set aside the fact that you insulted me twice. Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to fix it? Let's fix it. You send me 160 gram paper and we'll talk. But, I don't know. We're going to, I'll keep you updated on what's going on with this. And for some reason, I don't, I don't even know what I was about to say. I'm so tired. Y'all don't even know. But anyway, if you have an issue with the paper, like I have an issue with the paper right now, then you are more than welcome to send that thing back and um, I will, I will refund it or something because I don't know if they're going to fix it yet. I don't know. Um, if they are going to fix it, how long it's going to take. There, okay. Truth be told, there's not anything wrong with this journal. Except for how light the grid is. I mean, it's still perfectly good, good journal. And the paper is still probably 150, like he sort of alluded to in his email. So it's still going to hold up to ink just fine. It's just not what I paid for. It's not what I paid a lot for. I mean, this was not a cheap endeavor. This took a lot of upfront capital, and all I wanted is what I paid for. And I just, I don't know, the more I sit here and the more I think about it, and the more I touch this paper, and the more I touch the other 160 GSM pages in these other books, I'm just convinced that it's just shy of 160. Yeah, so it's just not what I ordered, and I want what I ordered. He is more than welcome to have these back if he wants to send me what I paid for. So, I hate to be that picky little bitch, but that's what I ordered, and that's what I told everybody they were going to get. And so, that's what y'all who did order are expecting. And, uh, yeah. That's what I want. I was also not 100% convinced that the board, the gray board inside of the cover was 2 millimeter board because this is 2 millimeter board. This is a stiff cover. The covers in here have more flex to them. They just have more flex to them, and I think that he used a 1.5 millimeter board in this, and I think he used a 2 millimeter board in something like this, and I think he just cut a couple of corners because 
my order was say smaller than like somebody like Archer and Olives would be or somebody like I don't even know who Scribbles at Matter uses but I'm sure that they have like this massive thousands and thousands of book order but just because I'm small doesn't mean that I don't pay attention to quality I was very very specific in what I wanted So, I don't know. Like I said, he's changed his tune like three times. He is uh, probably getting into the office-ish right now. And so, he, I had an email not too long before I started the live. And um, I think he's trying to minimize the paper issue and make it about the dock bed. I mean, I'm a little upset about the dock bed being so freaking light because... It's going to be a struggle for some people to see the dots. But that I could get past if the paper was right. And it's just not. You know, he didn't think I would notice. Well, I am a meticulous little son, not businesswoman. So, I don't know what to tell him. I'm more to support you. So, I will just keep all three books. Well, thank you. That's very sweet. But you definitely do not have to. Yeah, he was definitely hoping that I wouldn't notice, but yeah, I actually did. So, now he's being called on it, and now, oh, and I told them in the Alibaba complaint or whatever, it's, it gives you an option that says, do you want to return the materials? I'm like, you know what, I'll be more than happy to return the um, books, but he'll pay for shipping because I paid for shipping already once, and that was over 800 bucks just for shipping. So, if he wants these journals back, he can give me 800 bucks to ship them back to him because that's the only way that those things are leaving this this place and i don't even trust that they won't resell my artwork um and these covers if they do get them back so i don't know if I, I don't know if i'm gonna end up with 600 stinking books or <laughs> if i'm gonna end up with these 300 books a refund um for at least the majority of it and trying to go find a different manufacturer i don't know what's going to happen so i will definitely keep y'all in the loop about that i know that my email is like blowing up right now and i don't know um if that's him or if it's something else right now because I, I didn't pay attention anyway but this is going to be long and uh he'll keep yours you'll keep you'll keep uh, you got i mean seriously though when it gets there make this decision and you are not going to hurt my feelings if you cannot see the stinking dots and you want a different book so that's fine now let's get to what i did do today um besides get every one of those journals out i mean i had to ship something there's no way i could wait for an answer there was no way that i could and even if i get the return uh money and he wants these journals back he ain't getting the ones that sold because they're they're with y'all now and he can kiss my ass on that one but um yeah i don't know i did the reveal video i just got done filming it I have to edit it and it'll probably go up tomorrow um ding ding I'm going off here um Amber sent me a photo of my friend this is this a photo of my friend oh I'm trying I'm just, oh that was that was from last night okay I'm okay I promise I promise I'm alright. I just, my head hurts so bad. I am so, um, should I hold off on ordering mine? That is completely up to you, Sandy. Absolutely, completely up to you. If you want to order one, it'll have light ass dots in it, but, you know, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, my work is copyrighted, so that's not an issue, but that doesn't stop them from selling things over in China. It really doesn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's up to you, Sandy. Like I said, the paper is probably 150. I am going to probably discount them a little bit on the store. I don't know. Um, I, I'm waiting to see what all I find out. I, my head is hurting so bad. I am so tired. Um, 
so yeah if I'm not smiling today it's just because my head hurts um, and so I'm trying to get through it like I said without taking a painkiller um, especially this late if I've gotten through this much of the day I definitely don't want to take one now um, anyway I got the reveal video done it's just got to be edited it will go up tomorrow um, Mall July colors was already done prep the journal packages I'm gonna mark this as complete because every journal that has been ordered has been shipped so prep stick Kickstarter packages I have not done that yet because I was setting up the new printer which arrived today it works great I can actually see a difference between this little buddy here and this monster here this thing is flipping huge it is so big but I I didn't realize it can print up to a 13 by 19 sheet of paper. It's a massive, massive printer. And I didn't know where to stick it, so it's up here now. Um, it's huge. It is huge. But it's it it's it makes a difference. Um, for instance this little thing the reason why I haven't really emphasized the clear matte stickers is because um, when I was printing them on here the color always came out fine but the black only didn't seem to want to stick to the actual clear matte sticker but I printed off these just to go with last month's or May stuff or whatever because I really happen to like these designs so this is something that I'll I'll use regardless of the month but the black stuck really really good it's just as uh, even and solid and down as the color is and the color is down just as smoothly as it would be on a clear or on a white matte sheet so it's just nice and even and so I will go back to probably emphasizing the clear stickers I wanted to see if I could put one let's see I just wanted to see what they look like but I didn't know which one to use and let's see trash day was yesterday I hadn't actually stuck one in my journal yet and I was so thrilled I was so thrilled before about the clear stickers but then I didn't really care for the black and that I kind of just let them go we did trash and recycling this week and next week or and Friday is payday for Mr. King so we'll put him right there but now they look so good I'm so happy with this printer I'm so happy so but those are clear they're on the clear paper so they're matte and let's see I think this blue Monday through Sunday here would go fine with the butterflies over here since I don't have it on oh, oopsies since I don't have any way of <gasps> look oh I like it I love it I was so excited about these clear stickers and then now I'm re really excited about the clear stickers so yuck that looks so good now that that's super cute now you can see through it so that's awesome okay so yeah, I'm so, so happy about the printer. And then I can make prints and I can make postcards and it's really, really simple to switch back and forth between the types and sizes of papers. It took me forever to set it up earlier, but um, it's done now and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. So yay for that. That went right today. That, <laughs> that went great. All right. I ordered the pen. 
the octopus pen i ordered it um from my first pen manufacturer the one who did the polar bear and the penguin and all of that stuff because i'm also yelling at the pen manufacturer over in china about the new pens so I don't know there were a couple of inconsistencies in the photos that she sent to me and like five of the seven designs are you know supposedly done and I don't know if she just so happened to pick out the one seconds pin in each of those designs and send me that in a photo but I was already on a rampage and I'm like oh my god let's just let's just nip this shit in the bud right now it's <laughs> huh. just me and China are on a break and um, we're on a timeout right now and I'm not allowed to yell at China anymore right now. Um, pack and ship. Tina, I am so close to finishing your doohickey. So here is your doohickey by the way. And um, I made you this. I made you this to go in it. Did you know that, guess what, this is not metallic. I put four little... Um, <laughs> I put, oopsies, I put four little, now I'm making a mess. That one was not completely dry and I stuck that piece of paper on it. Okay, anyway, that was Jade, by the way. I, um, he was like the smidgiest bit, still not dry. Okay, oopsies, there we go. It's going to be fine, I'm not going to stick that back on there. But I put these four, <laughs> I put these four, magnets on the edge of this and then I stuck it right here and um, yeah that's not magnetic the only thing that's magnetic is down in here but I put all of the ones from your June set right here and I'm going ahead and I'm sending you your July kit so that you don't have to wait until your um, July kit comes in so I'm waiting for these two colors and Jade had a little wet spot on it but the rest of it's dry you know what you could use you could use double-sided tape if you wanted to put it in here or if you just want to leave it somewhere for your reference I did cut it to the size of this and I did cut it to where this is the perfect amount of little spaces for your thing so you just swatch over top of it and don't be alarmed I don't know how many of you really pay attention to handmade watercolors don't be alarmed at the fact that some of them crack especially the ones that are just straight pigment and not shimmers that's just because they don't have any honey in them they just have a little bit of corn syrup and they have a very 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 little bit of that in it so sometimes the pigment cracks but it re-wets just fine do you want me to show you a swatch um <laughs> Let me do one of them for you. Okay, awesome. Um, so that would be what I do. I just didn't know how you wanted it stuck in there or if you wanted it stuck in there. So when I found out that that side's not uh, magnetic, I just left it. And then I smooshed it. So it's got a little bit of green on the back, but it'll be fine. I'll clean it up for you. But anyway, so we're waiting on those two colors, which dried a little bit. Uh, they sunk in a little bit. Okay, let's do a swatch. Um, so yeah, I just don't want you to be alarmed if you think, Oh my gosh, they're cracked. What am I going to do? They're broken. They're not broken. So this one is really, really strong. Um, like, it does not take much pigment at all to get it going. And, oh, they will re-wet like a dream. I'm just swatching your thingy for you, and that's the best part. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But see how easy they re-wet? So don't be alarmed when you get the pigment base that are just matte. And they crack a little bit over the summer. That's actually a good thing. You know it doesn't have heaps and heaps of honey in it as an additive it is just pretty much straight pigment and then the gum arabic that is the binder so yeah i'm waiting on grasslands to finish drying and the giraffe spots to finish drying this is so dark too i'm gonna try to not
Look. So now you have a little swatch card. Do all of them. That's the best part. Why do you want me to do all of them? I mean, I'll do it. But why? This is my favorite part. Like you don't even know. I could sit here and swatch all day. I think I'm going to order those um, Arteza, Arteza, however you want to say it. Um, the big set of gouache paints. And that's going to be what I do for the um, what is gouache video. And as I sort of swatch them out and maybe paint something with them, I'll do the whole what is gouache so everybody knows. I know that that video has been coming for like two months now. But I promise you I haven't forgotten about it. After I set up my gouache palette and then yeah. It was like bye bye. I don't know why because I really am not a green person. But seaweed is one of my favorite colors. And I think it's the gold shift underneath. It just looks so weird from all the different angles. That I love it. This really is the best part. Just swatching, swatching, swatching. They just figured out your love. Hey! <laughs> hey, Sage! Hey, Mackenzie! Let's smooth you back down. There you go. Get in there, buddy. Peekaboo Peyton. That one's nice and thick too. A solid colors. There you go. I'll do the other two when they're dry. Well, that was satisfying for me. I don't know how satisfying it was for you, but <laughs> that made me feel better. So, yay with your swatch card. You got shimmers. You got non-shimmers. I'm really liking how the whole Safari, I'm just going to call it Safari. I, I love how the Safari palette sort of came out. I'm just, I know it's really like earthy tones and you've got the red and the orange, yellow, and then a bunch of brown, but I love it. I love, I love it because, you know, so many of the palettes are all shimmer and so many of the palettes are all bright and cheerful that when I go to reach for something to do a painting like when I went to reach for something um, for the Goblin Fairy, I didn't have anything flat that was sort of a uh, earthy tone. So I just had to sort of make stuff up. And now I have all these earthy tones. So <laughs> she has snacks. Oh, cute. All right, so we finished the unicorn art, and so there's no need for those circles to be there, but it's okay. I might put a background in it or something. We'll see what happens. Mm, film next week's videos. Oh, I don't even got these, this week's videos uh, filmed yet, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, and step outs, dude. I did that. I did that, so... Yep. All right. Um. I'm gonna write yelling at China. Cause that's what I'm doing. I'm yelling at China. And I'm writing it backwards. Yelling at. China. And that's what I've been doing all day. Or all night. Alright, yelling in China. So, I don't know. I've been in a weird mood again today.
A little throat stumpy. We'll just put throat stumpy on there. That's a little... There's a lot of pink fish in here. But... That's okay. Sometimes you just need pink fish. What did I say was going to be... The in between between crazy pants and throat stomping. Now I can't remember, and I've got to do my plan with me tomorrow. Last night we were at a friend's house, and she would not play peekaboo with anyone there, but put on an old light. And she played peekaboo with it. Oh, that's so cute. That's because Peyton is my friend. Peekaboo. <laughs> uh, uh. That poor child. None stand a chance with me as a mentor. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, okay. Sales. Uh, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Um, Instagram. Did I post to Instagram? Or is that technically yesterday? I think it was this morning when I posted. Um, oh, teapot. Yes, I'm a teapot. Please don't let me forget that. I'm a teapot. 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 That's my in between mood. Now it's in big blue letters over there. Did I post? That was. I don't know. So if I posted to Instagram, it posted to Facebook. I did not sketch. 100 days, I did. Eat at home. We had leftovers. 15 minute clean. Story of my life. Alright, quality time with Mr. King happened. I was not up on time. Still managed to get in bed on time, but I was not up on time because I made Mr. King let me sleep in. Um, no spend, I did. YouTube video, not yet. Patreon update paint. Skillshare clash canvas newsletter. Okay, so that's all we can fill out for that. Alright, that takes care of that. Now we gotta get through 12 of these. What the unicorn was today? Okay, yay. Technically, yay. Alright, I posted it before I went to bed, but works for me. I believe you. I totally believe you. We got massive number of step outs to do. But I'm caught up, which was also satisfying today. Very, very satisfying. Um,. To catch up where am I at I am here so we left off on June 13th with this blossom and we were supposed to come back the following Monday is it the Monday man yeah, who knows and we were supposed to come back on the 14th or whenever and do this and we didn't so now we can talk about absolutely whatever you want to, and I'm going to do these step outs. So, this has a big circle in the middle and goes sort of up and around to each corner. But, um, yeah, as far as the journals and things are concerned, but night, Mary. Um, and the pens and all of that good mess, I am definitely going to keep you all in the loop as to what is going on with that, where things stand with that. And try to be completely transparent with all of that and what's going on so i like being up front all right so we've spiraled around this thing four times to each corner and then we split each one of those in half and now we're going to turn each of these things into petals So, like I said, you are not going to hurt my feelings if this dot grid is too light for you and you just 
don't like the product because honestly I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with it myself so and I was really really hoping to be satisfied with it but I just cannot I don't know the more I sat here and the more I thought about it the more I was like there's no way and then once you catch somebody in something it sort of just it fuels my fire it really does and so I kind of went off a little bit last night but in a businessy way I mean I didn't you disappoint me I didn't do that to him like he did to me um or I'm disappointed in you blah 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 I'm like who the hell do you think you I mean I didn't say that in the email back to them because I'm also actually a businesswoman and that's not how you talk to people but like who the hell does he think he's dealing with his daughter you just you just was I'm supposed to cower at the fact that he was disappointed in the fact that I wasn't happy with what he sent me I don't know I don't know what he was thinking not oh you got it already I did blossom number one and I love it oh it's pretty isn't it Mary, which necklace you get? She got the one that wasn't a dragon. Your bad, April. I heard her in the background. What happened? What am I? Y'all can hear screaming from where y'all are. <laughs> she knew that I would take the dragon one immediately. Well, you can't trust him from then on. I really can't. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going to go... What did I miss? I've missed everything. I'm like, I've been in my whole own little world today. I, you posted it where? Where? I thought I gave you two dragons. I think, thought they were both dragons. Tell me what I'm missing. <laughs> Cricket. Oh, you already did it? I just got done with my... Hopefully yours came out. Did you do the alcohol thing? Um, I gotta go lo I gotta go watch then. I thought you posted it on, like, just Instagram or something. I gotta go watch. Um, oh, you know what purple and orange make? Brown. Like, every time brown. When you mix them. This is the two that I happen to have with me. And um, so my alcohol things are a super hot mess. Like ugly, ugly, but it's okay. I'm waiting for your video. <laughs> uh, she's waiting for me. I'm waiting for you to do what you plan kit for next month. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know what next month will be. It's going to be... I don't know if I'm doing this right anymore. I am. Okay. I swear I had an idea as to what I wanted to do and now I have completely blanked on what it was. Like I got no clue. And I'm really not explaining this step out well, so I guess anybody who watches this will just have to sort of follow along. So we're just making swirls now everywhere. You don't have to do these little outside swirls outside of the petals if you're doing this shape outside of a box just on its own. But it was in the one in the box, so that's what I did. It's not bad looking, I like it. You got your kit today. They came. They came quickly. Then I'm. I, I'm glad about that. So, Tina's is super big because she's got two things in hers. Um. But yeah, that video will go up tomorrow. But man, yeah. you hope you figured out the kit correctly. I'm sure that you did. But I'll watch it. I'll watch it when I go inside. Um. I apologize for the latitude with the post. Yeah. 
things have just been a little stinking crazy. Oh, cool. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> Everybody got theirs today. I thought I was going to be just in time, and now I'm late. It's okay. So, do your, do your projects. Your projects may come out better than my projects. I'm almost certain that your projects are going to come out better than my projects. Oh my goodness. I will say that the alcohol inks did not smell nearly as bad as I thought they were going to. That was jerky, number 75, by the way. Um, it's just a swirl with petals coming off of the back of it, pretty much. And this was an alternate version if you just want to put the swirl on a stick instead of inside of something. Um... Yeah, I thought that the alcohol ink and the alcohol blending solution were going to smell a lot stronger than they did. So I was pleasantly surprised that they didn't. Hi, is that Peyton saying hi to me? Oh, hey Peyton. Peekaboo. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. Alright, 76 is flowerly, and it's just a bunch of hearts that form a flower. So, we're going to run through that as I'm talking to y'all. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I had an indigo, and I had an orange pearl that was called Splendor or something like that. And, you know, complementary colors will make brown every time. And so, yeah, I'm str I was struggling. But I got to do the voiceover for that section to tell you how much I'm struggling and edit that video tomorrow. And then it will go up. For, um, tomorrow's, uh, Twitch hangout or whatever, I think we're going to make the jars or something, um, for the Patreon challenges so that we can put all the stuff in. So I got a bunch of spaghetti sauce jars over there and I'm going to gesso them. We're going to decorate them somehow. Oh, peek a Alright. And that was the end of that one. So that one was flowerly. And like I said, it was a bunch of hearts with a little teardrop at the bottom. And that was it. And you could decorate it however you want to. And Fleavy? Fleavy? Was it Fleavy? Was the next one? Fleavy is a vine that just keeps growing outward. So that was day 77. And you just put some leaves on it. The leaves can match up or they don't have to match up. And then you come out on both sides of it. And just skip over your leaf. And then add a leaf on top of the leaves that you already had and then just keep going so I guess it could end up being as thick or as thin as you want it and then the little leafy sections just keep growing outward goes a lot more quickly when you're only having to draw it once instead of making the um you got gold and sunshine Ooh, i bet those are gonna look pretty together i can't remember what everybody got everybody got a pearl or a metallic and a matte sort of just basic color so that you could see what the different types would do and then everybody got shapes the shapes are Bria Reese shapes. Um, and then Yippo, the 5x7 sheet, was that Yippo or Yippo paper? This is what that is. And then the two smaller pieces of paper are Ranger. One is a gloss and one is a matte. Which, those weren't my favorite. They weren't my favorite, but 
You'll see all that in the video. I had a hard time. <laughs> I kind of like these stinking videos because I'm putting craft stuff in here that um, I haven't necessarily used before. And so it's not only like something new for y'all. Um, but it's also something new for me. And um, y'all get to watch me struggle and fail at it. Awesome. This one is slowed. Which made it seem like it had one more step than it did when I did my step outs. It's basically a bunch of triangular shapes with a bunch of pieces of hearts coming out of it. And then some little doodly things. And then it's done. So, yay! So I was off on what the papers were. Yes, you were all oh, honey. I don't know. I'm sorry. I should have labeled them. I should have labeled them. I really should have because I forget that, you know, people do unboxings and I forget that you didn't know what they were and that my video was going to be late so that you couldn't watch my video and then say, oh, by the way, I watched her video and she says that this is what the papers were. But that's what they are. So I'm sorry. I apologize. If I do that again or when I do that again or whatever. If it's not clearly labeled on there for you. Then I will make sure that each of the little elements has um, a label of some sort. My bad. I'm so sorry. It's been... <laughs> been a little scattered. It's okay. Um, alright, so we got, this is Feather for day 79. We got a stick with a leaf on the bottom of it. And then we're just going to bump all the way up to the top and then do the other side. I don't know. I know that you do it too, but then when I go to packaging them, I never think of anybody doing unboxes of my stuff, I guess. I'm sitting here staring at my mystery box that I still can't open yet. And my scrawler box um, that I'm going to do an unboxing for. And then, yeah, I just don't. I don't think of anybody doing unboxings of my stuff. I'm just like, ooh, this looks neat. Let's throw this in. Alright, so then we bump the thingies up very poorly on this one. <laughs> to each side. And then you just color in the little tips and give it some zhuzh and I guess it's supposed to look like a feather and my step out this time looks better than the actual thing but it's okay I think you're going to be able to tell that as we go through all of these that they get a little more and more hurried looking as we go like some of them you can tell just how much effort I put into getting the stuff out down on paper. I was starting to, my head was starting to hurt a little bit more and my hand was starting to get tired because it's still healing up a little bit from the bite and then my wrist is still acting up a little bit from pulling it. Although it's not nearly as bad in both cases so it just, it I get my hand gets tired easily right now all right that was feather and 80 is lobelia which is basically a cutesy little flower with swirly things in it so I went up and around and then down for my thing like that so I made it look like a balloon and then you put swirls in it And then you come off the side with petals and put swirls in it. And then you connect all the petals with a swirl. And ta-da! 
That was that one. Um, 81 is Trelina, Trelina, and I'm going to try to make mine a little bit smaller this time because it seemed to run off a page, or out of my box, and so let's see if I can make it a little bit smaller. So we start with this whole pinwheel looking thing again. So sort of like that, that's a little bit smaller. And then you come off the back of it three times. And then you hump off of it like over and over and over again, getting steadily smaller as you go. And then you can bend it like that. So that's what the top of that should technically look like. And then you do it three more times. I was trying to figure out today what I was going to put in the new journal as far as collections up front were concerned because I need to, I guess, plan out my plan with me for tomorrow because that video will most likely now go up on Friday. Um, I'm going to focus on getting the reveal video out tomorrow and then maybe at least maybe filming the plan with me, but I don't think I'll get both edited. Where am I at? Uh, I'm right here. Um, enlisted. But I kind of need to know what I'm carrying over. And I think I'm just going to leave spaces for them for right now. And then I will put them in in a separate video. That way I can still do the migrating to a new journal video for Gerda. I know a couple of people wanted to see that one. Alright, so that's what this should look like inside of the box if it's not running over it. But that was day 81. Day 82 is blossom number 13. And you have to start in pencil on some of these blossoms. So it's got three circles. You've got a really small circle. A very slightly bigger circle. That forms a ring around that one. And then you've got a bigger circle. It's going to determine how big your inner petals here are. So you're really not going to be able to see that great. But there it is. So you got one, two, three. And your petals in this one are going to connect your second circle and your third circle. So you're just going to make five petals. in there and that's what you start with in pencil now when you move over to pen you're going to trace over your inner circle your first circle that you did and your petals and then erase your pencil so what you're left with is petals that don't quite connect to your inner circle so there's a little bit of separation between them. And then you just get rid of your pencil. Alright, so that's what you're left with. And then to do these petals, it didn't really give you an order to do them in. I made the V's sticking out from each of the petals. This was the easiest way for me to think to do it. And then from there, I sort of did that and spun my paper and made all the ones that went that way. First. And then I came back and did the opposite 
now I'm on the corner of the book and I hate writing on the very corner of the book so mine are gonna go a little wonky there and I did the opposite and came all the way back around and that's how I ended up with those shapes except for I messed up right there so that's how I ended up with those and then inside basically got sort of a rounded triangle that's got little circles in it that I did very poorly in my step out and then the rest of the little triangle is sort of colored in that's going to be really hard to see and then it's got these little twiggy things with berries that come off the end of it and then that goes all the way around and there's a little v-shape inside of those innermost petals as well just to give them a little something so I'm going to do those my inner circles look really bad but kind of white I don't know I want to color in the whole thing because I'm kind of not liking the way the circles are coming out so if you don't like it change it up I just went and grabbed my thicker pen so that it would go a little bit faster Anybody else hate writing on the corner of a book? Like for me, it's this corner down here, but I guess if you're right handed, the opposite corner would do the exact same thing. It's so hard to, to write on the edges. If I was trying to be nice and precise or whatever, I would stick a book under my hand so that it wasn't like I was dropping off the side of the book but well this looked better um in the thingy but yeah that gets on my nerves so but i do like these blossoms i like that they're all um they're all different and i swear we've done hollyhock before but i don't know when and i couldn't find it in my prompt list i think that i i did it at some point and um I just remember having done this specific one before so I don't know um, that was day 83 though and try to do it a little bit better than in this step out so there is it and then you make a leaf and I didn't come out far enough Oh, I stopped being attacked by little baby spiders, by the way. Uh, there were at least five more baby spiders attacking, me fa uh, attacking my face last night. And, um, yeah, there were at least five more after the live. And there were baby spiders, spiders everywhere. I was freaking out. Then you got leaves inside of the little leaf and they sort of curve around where are all these little things coming from there's gnats everywhere too because I have my door open today I was nervous sitting down when I got in here today to start working or whatever I have been searching for baby spiders all day long I keep looking up around my camera and top of the um, computer and by the camera here looking for baby spiders to keep popping up because you know when spiders have babies they have babies 
they have lots and lots and lots of babies and I'm like well that was by no means all the babies so where are the rest of the babies I'm hoping that they found their nearest exit and are going to live their little happy baby lives but Yay, finished rough draft of the sign for anyone who was in. Ooh, I must have missed that. Um, hey, Nadine. Your sign you're making for April. I want to see it. Send it to me because I missed it. I missed it. Because I was not late or anything. Oh, I forgot the outside of the leaf. The leaf has a border. And then you color it in. So we're going to break this bad boy out again. Yeah, I totally missed it. I heard Sam saying something about a bird. A bird? Am I think, am, did I hear the snippet of the right conversation at least? I have a question in the fairy tier. What does the monthly set of printables mean exactly? I am thinking of going up to that tier. The monthly setup printables is the PDF of um, my bullet journal setup for the month. So once I do the plan with me, I typically create a PDF of the same setup digitally so that if you want it, you can print it out. So it'll have the monthly spread, it will have the uh, word of the day spread, it will have the mood tracker spread um, in it without the moods in it of course so you could fill in your own moods in case you don't like the way that I word my moods and, and then it'll have the habit tracker page in it so that's typically, it's typically those four spreads. Alright. Ta-da! Leafy thing. The haul will be on. Oh, that's April's channel. Okay. April, you can send her your, yeah, your leak for your channel. Um, Safflower. Um, it shouldn't need, on this channel over here, it shouldn't be, um, Something that I have to approve. Okay. Amber sent me photos. Ooh. I said baby spider too many times and now I feel like I got spiders crawling all over me again. I need another shower. Oh. That is very, very cool looking. I don't know how well it's going to show up. I don't know if you can see that. And then this one. Can I turn it that way? There it is backed out a little bit. It's not showing up great, but... It looks really good. Yes. It'll have the kitty and the stuff in it. And I will try to get that up by the end of the week. Um, by the end of the week. I mean by Friday. Um, hopefully tomorrow, but probably Friday. I usually have them done in a more timely manner. But everything has been pushed back a little bit this month. It will have the kitty spread in it, yes, with the balls of yarn. Hi, hey everybody. Hey, Mikey. We got three more step outs to do really quick, and then I'm pooping out. 
for the night. All right, so this one is Safflower, and I probably didn't follow the step out on this one. I just kind of winged it, wung it, I wung it. <laughs> June has been not. Uh, it's yeah. I'm excited for June to just be over. Um, to tell you the honest truth. So I'm going to tell you my version of Safflower, which was basically do the little stick stem. Um, make these four little leaves on top of it and then just go up in a triangle and not connect anything so I'm just putting random petals up safflower or the safflower thingy and really not paying attention to where they go all the way up in a little cone and that's how I did it I'm having trouble with the compass. What's troubling ya? What is it, by the way? Like, I mean, I understand the little elements and I understand what the letters are, but what is it? Because I missed that completely. I'm going to be coloring in some of each of the little flowers to give it dimension. Or petals to give it dimension. And yet you could tell that I was definitely getting tired by this point. Because yeah, I kind of half-assed my way through this one and I just did it again. That's. Um, day 85 was yesterday's. It is Libby and it was really, really, really simple. Sleep only at you hours today, but I think I'm feeling better. At least I don't have to pee half the time anymore. Well, that's good. At least you're getting better. All right. So we've got these little weirdly connected um, thingies. We've got the colors or the corners sort of colored in a little bit just to make the lines thicker around those corners. Each of the little lines has a little dot coming off of it. And then the pentagon. Pentagon is the word that I'm looking for has a little pentagon inside to make all the little shapes connect and voila it's done it's gonna be a wood sign it has a sign outside of a friend's dad's new house oh who dinged me that time <gasps> Ooh. it's gonna go on that get out of the there he goes Ew. Awesome. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. And then Pearly is today's. Yay. We're caught up. Which is basically just a bunch of circles hooked together <laughs> into a string. Yay. So it's five circles that start itty bitty, get big in the middle, and then get bitty again. And then you do that twice. And then you basically make a piece of string and do it again, and that's what connects them. So it's like 10 circles, a piece of string that curves off how whichever way you want it to, and then 10 more circles. And another piece of string and you just keep going and going and going until your heart's content with your string of pearls. Ta -da! <laughs> Tomorrow we are doing something that I can't say. 
I think it's supposed to be Iceberg Fan, but I typed a J instead, and so we'll see what it says on the, what does it say on the thingy? Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Because it's way down here. There's some of what we were doing today. Did I type it wrong? Nope, that's just what it says. Jaysberg fan. Ooh, and it's a spirally flower. So, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. It's what she wants. She dragged me to five stores today to get what she wanted for this thing. Well, sometimes you just know what you want. Alright, y'all. I'm peeping out. I'm going to go check my email because it says I've got three. And I don't know. Let's see if any of them are for China, from China. Oh, okay. There are two of them are from China. But they're from my original enamel pen person. And I asked for a quote just in case I need to get these seven pens remade. I wanted a quote on those from my original manufacturer and plus he's doing he is letting me know that he got the payment for the octopus pen that we designed on patreon all right but yeah I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow I promise I'm gonna see you tomorrow because I'm pooping out here and um, I have a question how did you not contaminate all of your brushes with sparkles from the pearly paints? I don't know that I haven't. <laughs> um, from just the, the watercolors? There's probably sparkles in all of them. Try not to teapot at China tonight. It's going to happen. I'm telling you now, it is going to happen. But I'm in a teapot from the comfiness of my couch and not out here. So, I'm in a teapot from inside. No, they probably all have sparkles in them. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they probably just have so few sparkles in them um, that when I'm doing mats that they just don't show up I mean but most everything that I do has sparkles in it so it wouldn't be noticeable so I don't know they're probably all contaminated <laughs> all right y'all I love your faces so much but I'm out of here so I will see you tomorrow um two o'clock on twitch and 8 30 here after okay I love your faces bye bye